Are you planning to take that anywhere to like play? Or are you maybe you pretty... eventually? I don't know yet. Yeah. I've watched Sorry. people play uh, 40k on YouTube, and it looks interesting. Mm -hmm. I call it nerd chess. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But... Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Recon Roundabout. Today's late night special guest is Mav. Uh, Mav, you want to introduce yourself? Kind of just go through what you do in the unit. No. <laughs> I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm currently the acting unit commander of the 91st since Poppy Scorch is Away. playing Mr. Mom. Away yeah, yeah Mr. Yeah. Mom. That's funny. Um, yeah, I mean, so I guess, I guess one of the biggest things for people who just generally don't know who you are at all, um, you know, how long have you been in the unit? I guess is probably the first super generic question, but uh, four years. <laughs> Jeez. Four years as of this month, actually. I joined so last February here... of twenty nineteen. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say twenty nineteen. I think we were just talking about. Um... Oh, yeah, we uh, we were just in Team Seek earlier. I don't know if you were in it, but we were talking about, oh, yeah, who's the oldest living fossil inside of uh, 91st? Uh, it's either Hex or Kuro. That's what, it's yeah. one of the two. Yeah. I joined... They were here, I think, during, like, the founding of the unit, which I don't remember exactly when that is. It's probably late 2018. Um, but they've been here, here around Volks then. Is... Or, sorry, Volks, oh my god. Box. Kuro's been here since oh, yeah. October 5th of 2019. And then you said Dev? No, Dev oh. joined later. Hex, um, Hex, Hex, Hex. yeah. Crap. If he's online, I could tell you. Jesus. I mean, did you... Did you, like, join the unit with the expectation that you'd be where you are? Or no, I joined you... the unit on the fucking... I joined the unit... I don't know if I can swear. I don't know what you guys... Yeah, whatever. Wrong. I forgot to ask. No. I we're joined not, the we're unit not monetized a, anyway, uh... so it doesn't really fucking matter. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> You're good. Uh, no, I just joined the unit on a... Because I've been in other armor units. Mm -hmm. uh, my first unit is uh, back in 2015 when I was in high school. Oh, my God. Uh, it's actually where I met Scorch. So I mean, I've known Scorch for almost a decade. Jesus. Um, <laughs> bros cool. for life. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but I joined like an RHS one back then, back in 2015. And then after that, I got sick of that because it was just, that was a shitty unit, honestly. I mean, it's still around, so hopefully they don't, <laughs> 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 I guess I won't name them. I, I won't name them. Yeah. There we go. But, um, you know, I mean, so you kind of been around the block. Getting in, into this was pretty easy. Did you, um, because I know, so like first platoon just got their new platoon sergeant, Avalanche. Um, mm -hmm. which congrats avalanche. Um, and I guess everybody that's got promoted, I forgot to even go through that. We'll go through that later, but did you go through like the PSG route and kind of like getting the platoon lead and then just up and up and up or like, how'd you kind of like get to where you are now? Started from CR. Uh, obviously. And, well, I mean, there's some people that like, they come to the unit and they're like, Hey, like if you come into like a new unit and you know, really put out, sometimes they'll just fast track you. Yeah, new. I you know um, I'm I have an SCP unit that did that for me because I was like I'm a platoon two mech and like, yeah. word you know so I get it yeah but no I started just regular Joe Schmo I was actually inactive for a while because I moved right when I joined I was inactive for like three months when I first joined okay and I was thinking about leaving then because I was just like I don't I don't know just because an army unit it's not really a commitment if. At least uh, some people can not see it as a commitment. They could just be like, ah, but come here occasionally, blah, blah, blah. But um, for me, it's kind of like, yeah, that's like a couple hours of my day taken up. Or, yeah. Um, lost my train of thought. Sorry. Work tired. Yeah, no, um, you're fine. So, I mean, to just backtrack to get you back on your track, but you got here as a CR. I mean, just like the majority and you got into billeted assuming you know what i mean after moving and mm -hmm. then kind of like where did you take that did you work towards platoon lead or like well you start you don't start with the intention of i mean some, i guess some people do but i start with the intention i start small and i work my way up mm -hmm. if i want to progress um so i started i was like all right i want to be a team leader became a team leader all right 
I want to be a squad leader. I want to be a squad, and then just go on, so on, so forth. Um, but this, like being the fuck, the guy in charge, um, for the most part, wasn't on my uh, <laughs> on my list of stuff to do. I was gonna top out a company. That was my plan, uh-huh. and then stuff happened, and here I am. That's pretty <laughs> much what happened. I mean. Yeah, gosh, I I guess being here for so long, though, you also just kind of get used to it. Because, I mean, I I think I'm rounding out, if not already hit my year. Mm -hmm. I'm too lazy to actually ask um, and to check, but, like... um, No, I'm looking at Orbit right now. Yeah, look at it right now. Because I don't fucking know. Because I transferred over here in, like, January, I think. Anyway, whatever. But, like, I feel like you just kind of get into that motion of, like, you're just kind of doing you know what I mean? Like, you're just kind of here. You show up every weekend. And, like, you know, I made good friends with, like, Loki, of course, and a bunch of other people. So, it's, like, I kind of just show up because I want to show up, right? And then that leads into other things. Like, um, you know, I'd like to even try my hand at, like, platoon leading one day, uh, eventually. So, we'll see kind of where that goes. But I get it because you kind of just been here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's, like, you kind of just start walking that direction. But, um something that you mentioned before but you mentioned the idea of doing a let's play and stuff like that um Mm -hmm. i was kind of thinking about that for a second less about that but more about like like the c shop help like is there anything in the unit that you specifically have your name on that they've been using through the unit if that makes sense like is there something like we do uh... this and it's mav's idea or it was like in part because mav had that idea. i mean the entirety of c5 for the most i was in charge of c5 for like two years until i gave it up oh yeah what does um, c5 do again training yeah I so say, say train. no i it's for not me but you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. um so mm-hmm. i guess yeah geez i mean like that's fucking crucial that if not the most crucial thing but what um what about that you kind of just decided that you're like hey you know i'll help people get into training and help set that up because it's not really working out very well or like kind of what 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 drove you to do that because i've done it before i did it in my previous unit that i was talking about okay i was a trainer there so i was like uh and then it's like hey we have c shops for people that want to for ranks and stuff like that so i was like all right i'll join c5 because i had experience doing that and then i that's what i did who's in charge of the unit way back when when you were um vox okay so jesus that was I don't think I've ever heard of him because I think before Ooh. before Scorch, I heard I know Penguin and I've talked to him a couple times before because he comes in here with probably the funniest uh, team speech. Yeah. Scorch's bubbly yeah. soul. And yeah. 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 So yeah, no, I haven't talked to Penguin ever since uh, he left. It happens. I mean, yeah, I feel like I, I feel like um, I never really expected Gark to be like this. You know what I mean? And like not Gark, I guess, they're just the unit or Gark in general, but that like connection. You don't really, like, think that it's going to just kind of keep going the way it no. is. And, like, because I'm sure as shit, just like I'm sure a lot of people that are, like, been here forever. Like, you didn't plan on being here for years. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm sure nobody else really, really did. I mean, like, I mean, God bless Bardock so because I love that he's so committed to the unit, too. And I feel like he does have... um some long plans. So I think he's the only person I've talked to that actually has like a, like a big, big scale. Like this is what mm-hmm. I plan on doing. So I'm, I'm appreciative of that, but, um, you know, kind of going back into the unit and you, what as like two, I see the unit or now, I guess just headed the unit. Well, you know, scorches away. What, what's, um, what's your, what's your kind of like daylight? You know what I mean? As far as like the 91st is concerned, like what, uh, I guess I'm basically like a firefighter. If that makes any sense, <laughs> so uh, I, I'm really not needed until like a fire starts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. For the most part, about I mean, right, there's yeah. other like I hand I approve promotions and uh, who goes into certain positions. Like I approve the the predator and uh, Volks thing, right? I'm Which is something I talked up. about. Like I I try and be in tra- as transparent as possible, and I mm-hmm. talked about that. Uh, a week or two ago i don't remember the exact date right but okay so yeah i mean you're more reactive um that's fine because i feel like there are different levels of like handling stuff and i feel like a lot of people at like the team level even 
uh, between like you know, God, I don't know, Loki's group or fucking Possum or whoever, but they can handle mm-hmm. issues. I, I don't think that you know the big boss of everybody um, really needs to get involved with anything, but at least. Something that I've appreciated a lot about um, you, Mav, is that you're kind of around, if that makes sense. I try to be, It's super broad. I haven't been able to go to ops, but I've been around. It's not even op. Yeah, it's just like here. Like, now. Like, I think the past week you've always kind of been hanging out in your room um, and teams be doing Batman shit. (laughs) At the (laughs) minimum. Um, Beat 100% at all of them. It was great. Yeah, I can't believe that you did that either, uh, because the fucking oh Joker trials are horrible for me. I give up every time. You mean the Riddler? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Joker Riddler. Star, yeah. 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 Actually, technically Arkham Knight, I 240%ed it. <laughs> it's my Jesus job. Christ, yeah. dude. I love Dante, those games. you're technically a 101st transfer. Do you remember I that? I am. I am a 101st transfer, yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> I did, I'm looking yeah. At, I'm looking at the... Well, because he's like, hey, gents, this is his first message ever in the unit. Hey, gents, I'm looking to maybe switch over. I'm in the 101. As a CRC, and it seems as if I can't fit games into my schedule. Oh, and this was twelve oh two of twenty twenty one. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely over a year by at least a month. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's cool. Dope. I'm gonna put yeah, the heavy yeah. vest on just to wear. Twenty twenty one. That's coming on two years actually. Dead ass. Yeah. I don't know how. Twenty twenty three. Yeah. It's twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, yeah. This is up. Um. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know where my handshake is. I expect you to fly over here, man, and give me a handshake. Um, <laughs> but no, that's crazy. I didn't even know. I thought I'd been here for like a year at max. That's cool. Good news, guys. Hey, actually, we we just did math wrong. Yeah, he's just been here for a year. Just to make it two years, you would have to make it to the end of December of 2023. Um, Better math. Better math. Yeah, all of us apparently. But you know, the 91st is kind of known <laughs> for something like that, so that's fine. Yeah, apparently none of us can read. That's our big issue. <laughs> no, no, but dude, that is by far the funniest shit that none of us can read. Um, you know, speaking of games and stuff like that, though, too, I mean, so you beat Batman. Mm. Um, is there any, like, big project you decided to take on afterwards, or is there anything you're, like, Game prospects? Game-wise, not really. Yeah. Mm. For, like, single-player games, mm. no. Nah. Kind of just playing multiplayer games with buddies. Like, yeah, I play a lot of Phasmophobia. I kind of joke that, like, yeah, to fund the unit, I moonlight as a ghost hunter. But, <laughs> um, no. I uh, so that game is really fun. I enjoy that one. I think you've played it with me a couple times. I have. I uh, you don't have any I... like grand adventure ideas, like sailing the seven seas, or starting a small charity fund, or the conquering the world. I don't know. Fund? Matt definitely mm. wants to con- conquer the world. Any crazy or fanatic, like, IRL kind of stuff? Or just kind of simple at home, kind of just chilling with the video games, you know? Just chill, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, My real life is kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. I mean, like, I, I play games, I build 40k minis, that's about it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, 40k yeah, minis. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. You're pretty much just Henry Cavill, just accept it. Nah, actually, Jack, actually, like here's the oh, joke. Just, say, Mav is Jack Henry Nelson Cavill. Um, I aspire to be, but I'm too... I, I need to get into the grind working out, but I eat too much dog shit. Grind Dude, it happens. Else. It's like... Honestly, it's not that fun. I mean, it sounds cool, but like... Unless you really want to do it, like, I've kind of put oh, myself no in this way. position. What? Trauma's coming back. <gasps> hey, Let's guys. Go. See? He just get his tags back. This is fucking news. This is breaking news, everybody. Breaking, breaking news. news. Yeah, breaking news on the podcast. Trauma is coming back. Yo. Holy fuck. Yo. That's pretty cool. I really like Trauma. He was a lot of uh, help on the podcast. Um, like, very couple first, like, go around. Uh, Trauma was a massive help. I, I know that I haven't really talked about him. Maybe I did. Uh, mm-hmm. On, like, the one or two of them. But I think Yeah, because he was in our first... Ooh. I know he's in the first one, but the second one, I'm not sure if he really talked as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew Trauma was, was thinking about coming back. I talked to him Hell uh, like yeah. last I month. That, man. I, I just, didn't, I just don't tell anybody that stuff because it's like, yeah. how I handle people if they want to come back and if they want to leave, it's fine. Like, if you okay. want to leave, go. If you want to, 
Well, I have a problem with people leaving whenever they're not going to another unit. Yeah. And they, they're like, oh, I just want to be friends with the engine. Just stay in the unit if you're not going somewhere else. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, just yeah. be like a unbilleted beast, a VC or whatever your rank is. Yeah. That's uh, equivalent. Or whatever. But if you're going to like another Star Wars unit, because we have a bunch of rules about that, you kind of have to. So I understand that. Which he did. He went to another Star Wars unit. Mm-hmm. Now he's back. Now he's now back. back. Oh, okay. But um, I guess to kind of wrap this shit back around, though, to <laughs> math, obviously, fucked off track immediately. <laughs> Usually we keep it together for at least the first 15 minutes. Yeah, um, roll over. But going back to it, I guess. So um, you really worked on C5, but did you kind of... Did you help any of the other C C shops? I guess getting to C C though, you you would have had to participate in almost every C shop, right? Or were those rules made kind of after? Because don't you have to compete in some level of C shops to get to like those certain higher ranks? Not necessarily. I mean, I can help out in each of the C's, except for C four. I am illiterate when it comes to modeling and texturing and all that shit. Fair enough. I am, dude. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, I'm in three C shops right now. I'm in C2. I'm in the head of C2 right now, actually. Um, even though it's mostly Lear that does all the heavy lifting, I'm just kind of there as an administrative uh, person trying to get that back to put right. together. Um, I'm in C3 because I set up join ops with the other units um, that we interact with. I'm also in C6, but that's kind of just a given because mm-hmm. C command staff and all that yeah (laughs) is is most every i guess is command staff expected to get into c c6 or is it kind of just like usually not not expected per se but Mm. i felt that it'd be easier if i was just in it to do what i need to do in that yeah i have better monitor i guess i get that i get that yeah absolutely well (laughs) i mean so then going forward we have mav as you guys generally would see him as Mav, but like, I guess I, you know, and I give usually everybody card blanche on this. Cause if you want to share more, share more, if you want to share less, if you want to just not share much at all, um, kind of how, like, what do you do outside of the, the 91st? Like, I know you said you, you don't really do much, but I feel like everybody thinks that their life is a lot more boring than I feel like every single person we've talked to almost says that. Yeah, are you about to tell us like you own like five company businesses? Three yeah, pretty boring and... life, you know. No, nothing really crazy. I just, <laughs> yeah, you know. no, I am, I am Bruce Wayne. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that is my persona, I guess. I don't yeah. fucking know. Um, not really. I mean, I work a pretty boring job. And... What do you do? Do you mind sharing that, or you kind of <laughs> trying to keep that okay? I like to, um, I like to mess fair. with people. I like to change it up every time they ask me. I'll be like, yeah, oh, yeah. I work for so-and-so, and then somebody else asks me, and I tell them something else. So. Fair enough. I probably should have made up a story just so I can keep that going, but I didn't think about it so well. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess, I, like, I swear to God, dude, I feel like everybody says that their, like, life is boring, but, like, I mean, you, you know, you, you go to your work, you go home, you said, you know, you just read The Killing Joke. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and so, like, comic. I mean... Do you want to describe that? Like, anybody that doesn't know, do you want to kind of go through that just because your, your knowledge about it is pro- probably fresher than anybody else's? Oh, yeah. It's basically a story about um, Joker breaks out of Arkham again for, like, the gazillion uh, time. Yeah. And then he goes to kidnap uh, the Commissioner Gordon to break his mind and make him insane. Yep. And in doing that, he shoots Barbara Gordon, which paralyzes her in the wheelchair, as most people who are familiar with Batman stuff know. Um, and then he, like, puts her through, like, puts him through this menagerie of, I'm not gonna say really what he does, because it's kind of, gra- it's very graphic. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, it, it gets kind of graphic, but, you It's know. very graphic, so I'm not gonna yeah. say too much, but What's if you read, if you know, that? if you know, you know. <laughs> but he basically tries yeah. to just break his mind, and then, at the end, like, Batman beats the Joker, the Joker's like, alright, kick my ass, fucking, just beat the shit out of me, like you always do, send me back. And then Batman's like, nah. Uh, I'm going to do something different. He's like, I can help you. I can rehabilitate you. We can work past this. And um, Joker breaks his facade. And he's like, I don't see that working, bro. Pretty much. And then the bat- he tells the Batman a joke, which actually makes Batman laugh. Because he's like, I remember the joke. It's actually kind of funny. He's like, Three, uh, two guys break out of an insane asylum. Uh, one jumps over and the other guy's scared. So he's like, "Hey, if you jump, if you jump over, you, I can point the flashlight. You can just walk over." And he's like, "Oh, you think I'm stupid?" 
he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> you're just going to turn the flashlight off before I could get to the, <laughs> and that's the joke. And that the, um, and then the Batman laughs at that. And it's kind of ambiguous if Batman killed the Joker or not. Like, they leave it kind of open-ended. Like, Yeah, there was that one animation where they did, and then, yeah, then it's that comic book, and, yeah. There's so yeah, that, that I, animation is pretty good, too. I feel like yeah. it I feel like it, it follows the book enough. Mm, I mean, and there's also a lot of origin. Like, there's like an origin story to the Joker. He had, like, mm-hmm. a wife, and she mm-hmm. died. And he was trying to get money to get her out of the ghetto. So he was going on with the mob, and that's why he wore the Red Hood outfit and fell into the acid because Batman came and knocked him in there on accident. Yeah, and then yeah, and then you know, one, two, three, four. All of a sudden, everybody's fucking beating yeah. each other's asses. Um, are you a pretty big fan of Batman? You'd say, or do you think it's just kind of like happenstance that that? Uh, he's playing my top three like the um, fictional universes, I guess you'd say. Okay, um, that's not that's not too bad. I feel like I like all. Okay. I like most of the characters in the Batman universe. I like Red Hood. I like Nightwing. I fucking love Red Hood. Yeah, Red Hood's great. He's, oh. he's basically just DC Punisher, and he just kills people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just he's like everything you want Batman fun. to be. Cause you're, just, you're just like, Batman, just kill the Joker. And Red Hood's like, got it. <laughs> Shoots yeah. him in the head. <laughs> Pulls out that rocket launcher. AK, bro. Go ham. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, a lot of people appreciate the Red Hood for, you know, God, whatever reason they have. But... Uh, you think that it was it was always like a thing that you wanted to enjoy Batman like that, or I mean, like, are you more DC or Marvel, or like, did it just ha- happen that the games were like that, and then you kind of fell into it too, or like? I mean, yeah, I've been a fan of Batman since about I was a kid. Like, like the, the cartoon was on, the I'm animated sure. series was on. Yeah, uh, I've been watching it since then. Um, but no, I think I do prefer DC just because that was mostly my childhood. Like, I watched the Batman show. I watched the Superman show. Oh, yeah. I like the... I like Green Arrow. <laughs> like, a lot of people don't like Green Arrow, but I actually like Green Arrow. Not the CW show. I think the okay, okay, I was about to but, ask. Um, yeah. <laughs> the show was okay. It, it kind of... Like, the, the, the CW Flash show kind of got boring. But, um, I don't know. I prefer... I like the superheroes that don't really have any powers... If that makes any sense. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I I really feel like um, I really feel like you like find like like you said like the Punisher. Even though I think um, the Punisher has a has a pretty good show. Um, I love. I think the, yeah, he's that's probably my favorite superhero show. Agreed. Um, I think that. Other than I think that, Batman, yeah. Obviously. I mean, the animated Batman universe that has kind of like been perpetuated throughout like you know whatever the lives that you lived in the past little bit here. I think are all pretty nice. I don't think that there's one that I've watched that I've been like, I don't really like this. I think most animated ones um, really hit the nail on the head, if so to speak. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, besides the heroes, besides that, you also have, um, you know, what other in- interests? Like, I know that you you really kind of jump into that thing, but like, you like Warhammer. That's I a good one. Like, yes. you, how how much time have you spent in that kind of universe? I got in it because of this unit, actually, because people talk about it in the unit. I didn't get into Warhammer until, like, 2020. Oh, okay, so you've, so you've just been, like, pretty fresh into because people in, in the unit were talking about Warhammer. I was like, this sounds interesting. Oh, dude. Because at mean, first I, I was like, Warhammer's like fucking stupid. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> and, then, and then I read into it, and I watched some videos and read a couple of the books. I think the Night Lords are my favorite. I'm an Edge Lord, and I don't care. Fair enough. Um... um Models, you bought models. I do. I have uh, this uh, Sisters of Battle. Yes. Okay. So you're dummy, mommy. I got it. Um, you is that the only models you have? Just like a Sisters Battle arm, army? Do you think you want to like expand after that, or you think you're pretty true to just them? Uh, for now, I want to because I got like a big box set, mm-hmm. like a two hundred dollar box set, and I want to complete that before I move on to anything else. Yeah. Are you um, are you planning to take that anywhere to like play? Are you, Maybe you pretty... eventually. I don't know yet. No. I've watched Sorry. people play uh, 40k on YouTube, and it looks interesting. Mm-hmm. I call it nerd chess. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But uh, eventually, maybe. I don't know. When it comes to like socializing with strangers, because that's kind of how you have to do that unless you know somebody. I agree. Yeah. You have to go to like a game store or somewhere like that and to play. And I don't know. 
I'm not socially adept as I may seem on TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I get that. I like I always kind of toy with that idea too of like, oh, I totally could just go talk to fucking you know, these people and play D and D here and all that stuff and then I think about it and I'm like, I'm okay. That's a lot of work. Plus, I don't know how I would handle, like, a crazy dude that's just, like, super into it. He, like, rolls really good and he's playing orcs and he just screams walk. I don't know how I would handle that. Yeah. It would be I would feel so much fuck. secondhand embarrassment. I would just... I'd be like, all right, buddy, you win. My my, my sisters are returning. <laughs> you win, bro. I'd just pack up and go home. Um, was it really so the it... modeling? Oh, go ahead, Loki. <laughs> Such a side note. But <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know... The 91st um, has, a, has a tree, a little Discord oh, tree. Oh, God, that just started, too. Jesus and so, Christ, and so Bardock in our mess hall was just like, you know, behold, welcome back, trauma. And the first thing our <laughs> VCT sneaker says is, congratulations, trauma. You've been chosen to water the tree. Dude. Just like... We just force everyone to just work on this tree. This tree needs to grow. Like it's... Yeah, dude, but in, in what, a day? We literally went from, like, bottom of the leaderboard to, like, top 1,000? Yeah. We are, we, yeah, we went to, we went from 14,000 to this current moment to 781 of the tallest trees in all of the discords. We'd be gaming. That also have this tree. We'd be fucking gaming. Yeah. Get on <laughs> Snicker's also one of those guys that's been here a while. Snicker, yeah. yeah, yeah. Snicker's been here a while. He 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 left and came back and left again and came back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he was a he was like a guest of the unit when uh, mm-hmm. I first kind of came in, and then all of a sudden, I see him one day with the rank, and I'm like, hey, hey. Um, gosh, I mean, well, God, I mean, there's so many things that I feel like have happened in the past couple of days, though, because you have like, for people who are fans of football, I guess the Chiefs won, right? Yep. Whoa, that whoa, just whoa, happened, whoa. like, literally while we were, like, starting this, too. Trauma joined the unit, unit, unit again. Fuck yeah. I mean, dude, like, let me go back to it, too, because I have uh, a couple other, like, side notes about things. Like, as far as games are going, like, Ho- Hogwarts just came out, and I feel like everybody and their mother is at least talking Atomic about the Heart. fucking game. Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart comes out uh, the 24th. Atomic Heart. 20th. Oh, the, the 20th. The, the 20th. So and Monday then, next week, and then we got Sons of the Forest. Sons of the Forest that comes out I think Friday. But but mm. it is early access. Whatever. Not I think I'm gonna have fun with it. I think yeah, yeah. I'm gonna definitely. I mean, the Atomic Heart comes out on Game Pass. So yes. for both of you, if you wanna, if you have Game Pass, I I do. I'm gonna get it for free. That's awesome. Is it's it free. a multiplayer? It's game? not. It's like no, think it's Bioshock, but uh, like oh, okay, like okay. Fallout I, Russia. It's I know weird. nothing. I know nothing about Atomic Heart other than sexy robot ladies. That's all. Yeah, dude, Honestly, I love that. On the internet gosses it up. So, Massively <laughs> perpetuated. You. It's it's funny as fuck. Even though I think that there's a like thirty second showing of them. Uh, uh yeah. But I, I mean, did see that. I did like their movements. It was very obvious they're robotics and robots. So I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah, it's like they're very like stop motion. Like they stop, start, stop, start. Yeah. I, I love it. I mean, um, Atomic Heart, yeah, that comes out the 20th, you said. It says the 28th for me. Oh, yeah. Maybe it was announced the 28th. No, 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 you're right. I'm looking at it right now. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like Bioshock, but like it, think about like a retro Soviet Union. Mm. so it was pretty interesting i i don't really know much about it because i don't think i think they've done a pretty good job about keeping it like yeah close to the vest but everything like love... screenshot wise looks pretty not just really russian games but eastern european games yeah they like i like stalker i like mm-hmm. metro i oh, have dude, a metro is one of my favorite games. <laughs> metro is so fucking good i actually have all of them installed right now because i'm doing a whole i played through all of them last year yeah i might play Fuck, again yeah. later but what did you guys? What, what do you think about Exodus? Love it. Or Exodus. Did you hate it? it was a good design because they had that nice blend of just like, hey, you know, fuck around in this kind of little open world ish like level, and mm-hmm. also just kind of like do your own thing. Yeah, Instead of like I did the like older that. tiles, like just being like, go to point the, A to point B, yeah, and then the, we go through this storyline. Metro twenty thirty three, or is it twenty twenty three? Is it twenty thirty three? Twenty thirty three. Okay. <laughs> 2033 is and uh, last letter very linear in a good way. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad yeah. thing. Yeah. But 
Exodus being out of the um, the metro tunnels and going out, it makes sense that it would be open world. And there's still some linear level. I think near the end it gets more linear. It, yeah. the, like the two, very beginning and the very end. There's two open world levels, and then the rest of it's linear, which is yeah. well. There's that. There's the like water heavy map. There's mm. the oh, yeah. desert, Swamp, desert, desert, and then there's the, the forest. forest. Yeah. Yep. Was the forest open level? I don't remember. Yeah. It yeah, that's was. like post bear, and then you get on that train and you kind of like move around right. a little bit, and you can hop on and off. off and I love the, the cannibal shit. level. <laughs> get taken to the bunker. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that was insane. Though. I hope, not, like, I hope oh we're not goodness. spoiling Metro Exodus for people that haven't played it. Dude, that yet. game. When did that dude, game come that's out? That's like. <laughs> that's another. That's I like, do. It that's doesn't like count. Spoiling fucking Halo I, Reach. Yeah, I hate it when people <laughs> are, are like spoilers. It's like the game has been out for almost five years. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, if you haven't bought the thirty dollars game within the five years, I you know you should definitely just go buy it right now and just go play it. Um, speaking of good games, like I've been asking around the unit. So, what is one game series or game that you wish had a series or continue the series? Oh, um, my calling already got called. Um, I wanted for the longest time a Mass Effect to keep continuing, and they did. So my answer is invalid so. now. You have to change your answer, yeah, because they are continuing it. The mainline yeah. story, anyway. Yeah. Um. Shit. No, it's a hard question, right? Yeah. Because I I was gonna say Batman Arkham, but that that wrapped up pretty Dude. nicely. So I think if they added to it, then it kind yeah. of would ruin it. Um, I mean, Suicide Squad's I guess technically a sequel to it, um, but yeah, it's, it's its own thing. It. It's its own thing. It's in the same universe, but it's its own thing. Batman doesn't kill. Drops dead bug. <laughs> that was great. I cannot wait for that game. <laughs> if that game is bad, I will be fine just because it's Con it's Conroy's last performance, and I'm gonna buy it anyway just for that. Yeah. yeah Even I've if the game is bad, I just want to see over. that. <laughs> I just want to see that. I don't care if the game is bad. I'm usually not like that with video games. Like, I usually wait for people, but now I'm buying that day one playing it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like just because it is his last performance, I feel like I've said that a billion times, yeah. though. It's just like, dude, there's no way I couldn't. Um, I don't even know. That's a that's a really weird question. Because like, uh, I never really thought about it. I mean, Mass Effect is definitely one that I wish they, they kind of redid. But the thing is, is like, super hot fucking take. I didn't mind Andromeda at all. I, I didn't either. Uh, it was just the really gameplay. Bad. I like. I, I, I get what you're coming from. Like the story was okay, but the gameplay was just like. And you know, really? it was the last game I bought day one, and I got bored with it within like two hours. I got so fucking bored. I turned it off, and I was like, I'm never buying a game day one again. <laughs> I uh, what is it? I uh, I didn't really play it like day one. I think I touched it a while back or like a while after they released it. But um, something that I really got into about it is that you weren't stuck with one class. And I think that's really what, what um, yeah. like locked me into the game was that each like of those like classes you could pick had their own dodges and their own, own mobility like yeah. things. And there was a Pathfinder one that would let you teleport and you could then like quick hot swap between them and it just i made it, it made it really fun and i really like the biomes and how like you uh would be affected by the fucking what's it called like just the, mm. the environment and i really like that about the game too i feel like i don't really mind shepherd's story coming to an end like it did um i think that i'm pretty like i'm a massive hey. advocate Technically, story doesn't end if you do it the right yeah. way. Yeah, I I don't play uh, games solely for the gameplay. Um, unless it's like a unless it's like the game we've been playing for honor or Overwatch. Yeah, <laughs> those games don't. I the uh, when I play like a single player game, I don't play it for the gameplay. I want like a story out of it. I want a it, basically like an interactive TV show or movie. That's kind right. of what I'm looking for. Because I enjoy a good story. I'm a movie buff. I like movies. I like reading comics and books. Like, I I want a story out of it. And Andromeda's story did not do it for me. I was fucking bored to tears. The gameplay was good. I will not lie. The gameplay was a vast improvement from Mass Effect, uh, the original yeah. trilogy. But the story bored me to tears. And I did not care about the characters. <laughs> yeah. Um, going back to the question, I think I actually do have a, a good answer. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a Titanfall 3. Honestly, oh God, you I kind of wish. Dude. That... I mean, you and everybody else. 
I mean, oh. included on that one, but <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to think of one. Um... I know some other people said like um, they wanted a like typical like Mafia Four. Um, mm. Someone else said, "What was it? It was um... oh, State of Decay 3. I kind of forgot about that that whole game. You series. know, the first one wasn't really that bad. I like State of Decay, yeah. I think the second one was kind of odd. I, I don't know. It's It was weird because I didn't really hate it. Didn't really super like it either. I was just kind of like, yeah, that was fine. <laughs> it exists. Yeah, honestly. Um, well, like, I played it and I was like, oh, okay. And then I beat it and, like, I was like, yeah, that's fine, man. Because, like, it's okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going through my Steam trying to figure this question out, honestly. Oh, you're good. Someone else also said they wanted another um, Shadow of War game. Yes. Oh, That's yeah. Big one. fucking That's time. That's a good one, yeah. Because that honestly, might be the next game, single player game I play, because I haven't played those in a while. And I like Shadows, the combat style. Um, yeah, Middle um, Earth. Shadow of War was the last one. And of course, people are like, we want more. The Nemesis system. It's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. The Nemesis system. Probably. I feel like they, they spent too much time making it and not enough time actually making it. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like for something that is really, I would say, innov- innovative, innovative, um, it, it's like you didn't really, like, you know, you made two games and then you're just hmm. kind of out, right? Like, you're just I like, found yeah, my go. game that I was going to. Oh, it's do, pretty, do. it's kind of obscure. I don't think the game really took off. Oh. But it's called Vampire. It's Vampire. There's an, there's another one that's coming out, isn't there? Vampire I, Rising. Yeah, or like it's Vampire it's with called. a Y. V A V A M P. Oh, yeah, and you're like you play uh, as a doctor. Yeah, you're yeah, a doctor. Yeah. He gets infected by become a vampire, and then you like you have to like get power by doing stuff for citizens and getting their trust up oh. and then you suck their yeah there was never i don't think there's a sequel for that coming but it was really right. good but if you and... kill people you you get xp from drinking blood which is killing people but if you kill people the district goes to shit and you know it yeah. affects the yeah, course you it make affects things the story worse the yeah. yeah that would be a good one i completely forgot about that game that's a really good it, one uh, actually yeah. it's a great it's a great game i did wreck my i spent a lot of time playing that because i would take things like aggressively slow. I would like think <laughs> about every single yeah. like, because it's you hard. Kill, it's hard fucking game. You but the thing is, <laughs> and you only make it harder by trying to do the right thing and not just. That's what I was doing. People. Yeah, I tried to be like, because there's people in, that play video games that are just like they play every game like Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> just kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I try and I try and immerse myself in the mm-hmm. world. As cringy as that sounds, yeah, and, like, I mean, take it's it, how you gotta take it seriously. Mm-hmm. I try to play how the some the devs intend you to play, not like a murder hobo. Yeah, just so. say murder hobo. What say you? I know it's a hard question, Dante. Mm. Ever had that just game that you always wanted to uplift? Mm. I know it's hard. Not really, because I feel like the games that I did um, ended up just being shit. Because like I loved. <laughs> I, um, when I was, like, a teenager and, like, a preteen and shit like that, I fucking loved Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Like, I 100%ed every single one up to, uh, Unity. And, like, I spent some time. But, like, I would like to see them kind of return to actually, like, a fucking good Assassin's Creed. Would love, love with everything in my heart to see that. But, obviously, you know what I mean? Like, you know, (laughs) We're not doing that yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I just looked it up. Vampire is not getting a sequel from the looks of it. There was a TV show announced, but it got scrapped. Right. Exactly. I, um, I don't know. I just, I feel like Assassin's Creed has always been one, but like, it's like every game before Origins, essentially, I didn't really mind besides that Syndicate. Like Syndicate, Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla are always like the ones that I will like. I wish they stopped, like, they didn't make those, and they made one that was actually, like, good. Um, I love Origins mainly because the protagonist is kind of a fucking badass. <laughs> but, I mean, he kills it's that just, one dude. I forget the it's name. like the mask, like, he catches the blade he with the like, mask, and then catches he, like, the just mask, grabs like a fucking and, yeah. great speech about, like, how he's a piece of shit, and then just jams the mask. It was great. I love I mean, that part. Like, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla 
if I just gave you a game and I said, hey, play this for a couple uh, uh, hours, I can assure you most people that like RPGs will like those games. I think Orcs is the best of the three. But, and then Ubisoft does Ubisoft things and they just, they get a good thing and then they just run it into the ground. Well, like, I've, I always, I don't know why I think it's just because I like the game that I, I overanalyze it, but like, Origins doesn't have assassins in it. Like, you're not no. an assassin, you're a guy out for revenge, and everyone, because of the title, will talk about, oh, well, you know, you start assassins. Your wife at the end of the game leaves to join the assassins in Rome. There's no starting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, Origins is the origins of nothing, but I guess Bayak, which even then, like, he's already kind of, like, his own guy. He's a Magi already. And so, like, he's a very prominent figure. Oh. Um, Valhalla was <laughs> I want to super my fucking now. big. Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna change my. I said that vampire game, which mm-hmm. I still agree. But um, have you guys ever played Dishonored? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. The second one wasn't bad one. at all, though. I, I love really the second one. The second one. Yeah. But I, again, I actually, I never mind because I feel like there's the Death of the Outsider expansion that kind of that kind of wraps up the story, in my opinion. So never mind. Yeah, I wouldn't want a sequel but, to I that. Mean, Oh, is he really dead, dead though? Kind of spin off. I don't know. Mm, maybe. Really maybe, off. maybe. Maybe. I mean, I, I understand um, that. That's like when Dying Light Two came out. I mean, it's still not Aiden's story, or yeah, Aiden. I don't know. I don't Pierce, remember the main character's name for the first one. I feel like yeah. yeah. I uh, yeah, Dying Light Two is not that bad. I, I, honestly, like for anybody that is maybe curious about playing that, because I know it's on uh, sale right now. I'm pretty sure, That's but. Not- uh, yeah, it's for thirty bucks now. Yeah, Dying Light Two is a really good game, because, <laughs> but if you if it's it is just in the context of you like playing Dying Light One, I would definitely tell you to just go play Dying Light Two because you'll probably like it. The story I could give a fuck about, and it's actually pretty interactive because like you, uh, will do things that will help factions, that you decide, and it it's cool. It's just like. I don't give a fuck. You know, because, like, they don't really, like, spend any real time making your character important. You're kind of just, like, the important character, if that makes sense. Like, you're just the hero because you're the main character, right? You're not mm-hmm. the hero because, you know, you did something super illustrious. But yeah. the mods also, for that game are fucking amazing, too. I love games that let you create your own story, kind of. Have you ever played a game called um, The Long Dark? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. The, yeah, you're basically doing your own. You're making your own story. Cause you, if you play, I mean, there's a story mode in it. But if you play the survival mode, um, you're basically just, just put in a random area in the freezing winter, and you gotta survive. That's basically it. You have nothing but the clothes on your back to start, and you have to go and find stuff to survive. Um, hmm. And that's good. And there's also what was another game. I was it was on the tip of my tongue, and I forgot. Um, oh, a game that's coming out called Road to Bostock. I don't know if you, that's a game that's coming out uh, heard probably next year. It's basically like single player Tarkov. Mm. You're basically, um, I don't know if you're like a mercen. I don't know the story of the game, but you basically have to survive in like some demilitarized shithole and uh, kill NPCs, get gear, and make it to wherever you have to make. I don't know the story, but it looks interesting, and the gunplay looks very good so. like just like kind of target of interesting i mean i feel like we talk about games every fucking oh man, yeah I'm just knocking shit over in my room um every fucking <laughs> podcast but i mean i guess every game coming out i feel like because we we were in a massive 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 dry spell for like a while where they would just drop games and everyone would be like dude that's not fucking good yeah <laughs> yeah like just like oh, that <laughs> exists I mean, but, there's some... Good... I mean, there's good games. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, people right now are talking about... I mean, if you don't want to talk about games... Like, The Last of Us um, the show. series has been doing extremely I good. good. I, I played the first it's game, good. I haven't played the second game yet. I heard the second I, game is good, there's some issues with it. I would, I would say, honestly, yeah. if you really do care about the story, like, the second game isn't bad, but my argument is, at least with the second game... And, like, I hope the show kind of, like, just does with their own thing. I'm going to be dead ass because people really yeah. don't like the set, set, second one. Is that the story is about revenge. And the focus is 
we, you know, you don't do this or you do do this because you will basically enact another, like, a cascading effect of now this person wants to kill you and then you lose your loved one because you killed their loved one. You know what I mean? And so it's very, like, on and on and on and, like, you kill them, they kill you, you know. Um, my problem with that, though, is that the game hits the nail on the head with that in the main characters. Ellie kills thousands of people in the game hundreds you know what i mean yeah <laughs> thousands she kills hun hundreds and then doesn't kill the main bad guy because of that context of i don't you know what i mean i want to stop the 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 thing here yeah but she'll that's murder the I fuck love. out of everybody else so like that's what i love about uh, far cry 3 because your character is mowing down is that the one you these... that's the... the one boss like the yeah the, yeah yeah the, Psycho one, the, one. the definition yeah. of insanity yeah um because uh, your character throughout that game, he talks. Like I think they make the characters in Far Cry games silent for some reason, but in that game, he has, he like speaks and like talks about stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like he's an actual character. He's not just a like template for the player in that game. And he, uh, as the game goes on, as he's like killing people, mowing them down, he starts to like, he starts to weigh on him. Like he starts to go a little, little loopy with it, and drunk with power because he's just like this um, yeah, mass murder. <laughs> He's like he sees himself as like this god of war type of dude. I don't know. That's the only way I can really think of it. And well, no, I mean, I I think that that game honestly pulled me in, and it's so funny to say say, say this. The only reason I ended up playing that game for so long is because when you would do shit, you would get more tattoos on your arm. And I thought that, that was probably the cool. coolest I do like that thing. Mechanic, yeah. And I don't I don't <laughs> like understand that. why the games never kept doing that. Because I, I was yeah. like, that is by far the mm. coolest shit. Because you would, like, learn skills, and your sleeve would turn from, like, a tattoo, like, ring on your wrist to, like, a whole fucking sleeve by the end of the game. And I like how they even touch on them being the same people, though. The, uh, the, the, the like, main bad guy and what your, like, main character. And how yeah, they that become, is, like, one and the same. That is kind of a cliche, but I do like that cliche. It's like we are not so different, you and I, Mister Bond. Like, oh yeah, like, like, you know? like but I mean, it's it massive. Cliche, it's but... like the very first fucking cliche ever. But yeah. um, I just I don't know. I think I really like that game. I don't know why the other ones didn't uh, do something like that. I think the newest one isn't horrible, but it's very like they try to do that thing where they don't really give your character like a face. Or a name, you know what I mean? Or they, I, I guess they give them a name. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like they don't give them personality because you're the one that's supposed to have the personality that you give them. But that actually seems like it makes it not as enjoyable. Does that make sense? Like, mm -hmm. in effect of trying to get rid of a personality to allow you to do, do your own thing, they have effectively just made the game worse. Instead of, like, improving on it. I just... Uh, I mean, Far Cry, uh, Far Cry Three was the one we're talking about. Far Cry Four is the one where you're in like that Asiany like country, right? And you play as uh, God. What's his fucking name? I don't remember his name, but I know the bad guy's name is like Pagan. <coughs> Pagan. I didn't play that yeah. one, but I know the story. Pagan of it Min, yeah. yeah, dude. Honestly, I think that he has. Far Cry to be... Four is underrated. Yeah, I agree. I think Far Cry Four. It was around Hinduism, right? But like that. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it was in like Malaysia or something. Cultures, I yeah. I really, yeah. um, I, I, th I think that those two, like three and four, really were like tops as far as, like, Far, Far Cry games go, because I really think that they hit, like, the nail on the head. Because I feel like the Far Cry games have kind of delved too much into, like, you just being a murderer, right? And you're just mm -hmm. killing to kill, but, like, I feel like there's so much more to it than just, like, you killing pe people. Like, they're not very good at giving you a reason. I don't know. No, yeah. I mean, the Far Cry games are good. I don't, I don't know. Ubisoft is kind of fucking ass. Yeah. I have no hope for a Star Wars game. Everybody is always talking about that on, uh, in the in the in the unit, and I'm just like, uh, it's gonna be. <laughs> God. It's gonna I mean... be a generic Ubisoft open world game where you got to go to a tall place, synchronize with the place, you get some more quests, and it's just gonna be fucking mm -hmm. paint by the numbers for Ubisoft. Yeah, and there's they're gonna be like twenty dollars for this fucking Star Wars skin. Yeah, you wanna wanna look like Mace Windu? Here you go. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I need mean, to do more movie nights in the unit. I we haven't done that in a while. Movie nights? I, that'd be cool. You, we haven't done that in a while. I think the last one we did was uh, probably a year ago. Cause I don't even know. What you're it was a year about ago. Either. Yeah. It was. What was the last one we? Well, we watched the producers. That was a good one. Uh, what the is remake it about? of the producers. The producers. <laughs> it's actually a really funny movie. It's about um, these guys. They're trying to make a movie so or a play so bad that they can use it as like a tax write off so they can get money. <laughs> but the but the, the play actually does really well because it, well, it's so bad it's good. That's kind of awesome, though. Yes, yeah, like they make a fucking. They try to make Hitler a sympathetic character, but it comes off so bad. It comes off so funny that it's, or um, yeah, it comes off so mm-hmm. bad that it's funny to people. Actually, you know, really speaking about that, you know what? Um, I really liked that I watched recently is that one fucking um, JoJo Rabbit. JoJo Rabbit, yeah, I've heard. yeah, I love that yeah, 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 yeah. So. It, it, it goes, it starts off funny and hilarious, mm-hmm. and, it gets dark and then all and of a sudden it just dark and sad. Have you seen that, like, Loki? Oh. Sorry, seen what? I like Jojo, Jojo Rabbit. No, you're good. Uh, oh, With yeah, like, yeah, Jojo yeah. Rabbit. That's really fucking funny. It's a really good movie. Yeah, until, until you know... Yeah. <laughs> the end yeah, part. <laughs> yeah, once you start getting to the yeah, end. Yeah, like, like and he finds his mom, and I was like, Yeah, yeah, when you no. find his mom, that's you're like, oh, fuck, dude. I was like, this fucking movie, and man. And then his best friend sacrifices his, his life to the fucking Russians or whatever. Yeah, dude. And, like, I think that uh, Taki, I'm not even going to try to say his uh, name. Taika Waititi. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, he I'm is, like, him, he's pretty good. <laughs> I at that movie, movie buff. I, can't, I know him. <laughs> dude like i i don't i don't really enjoy that because i feel like it's so marvel generic shit now because like you know oh, i'm tired of marvel they feed shit. into I'm those superhero fucking movies. jokes i agree I, I know we talked about like superhero stuff a lot over the beginning of this but i love superheroes but i am tired of this like corporate superhero movie bullshit i'm over it i think the yeah. marvel shit where they're like taking very tense situations and one person has to make a joke about it every time yeah i'm so every tired of the funny time, the funny yeah. haha yeah. like if spider-man doing it fine that's spider-man's gimmick but like fucking thor oh like, my god thor ragnarok was a good movie i'm not gonna lie but uh, kind of over funny thor um mm-hmm. yeah i kind of got over it when uh you know when they first met Korg? Like, that was funny, but the jokes kind of kept coming. Yeah. And happening, and happening, and happening. And I was like, okay, I'm done with this now. Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I am not watching another Marvel movie for a while. I will only watch a Marvel property if they bring back the Punisher show. <laughs> That's basically it. Yeah. That's my... Uh... Oh, that Punisher was or really the Daredevil. Good. I like the Daredevil. I liked I liked all those Netflix uh, Marvel shows. Jessica Jones was okay. I liked Luke Cage. Uh, yeah, I, honestly... I like Luke Cage a lot. Actually. I think I'm Daredevil is probably my for... favorite because uh, Vincent oh, yeah, D'Onofrio Daredevil. as fucking Kingpin was amazing. Well, I really like that. Um, I feel like he was one of the only ones that I've noticed that actually was able to, uh, like, what you call it, get into like the bigger side of things. If that makes sense. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> The Daredevil character, I feel like they really did a good job bringing him into the MCU. And I hope that they do more with that. Even though I'm sick of the MCU, I, I dead ass, dude. I feel like him being in there is a pretty good fucking yeah. time. Because he's a. It, that show, start to finish, besides maybe like one or two hokey ass episodes, pretty good. I think Iron Fist sucked. That, that was the one that was. Yeah, really Iron Fist was kind of. <laughs> Iron Fist bored me to tears. I was like, oh, okay. I don't know. I uh, yeah, I don't really mind it. I don't know. Shows are shows are very hit or miss. I feel like you'll have like 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 the Star Wars shows. God, I mean, Andor was fucking great, but then all of a sudden you also have um, Boba Fett, and that was kind of whack. Oh mm. my god! I remember we, me and a bunch of guys in the unit watched Boba Fett there and on Discord. Oh, oh my! <laughs> I think we enjoyed it just because we were just making fun of it the whole time. <laughs> Like, well, then, like a quarter of the way through Boba Fett, it just was Mandalorian. Like, it was just Mando. Yeah, it was just Mandalorian. Just Mando season 2.5. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, okay. Well, like, here is the book of Boba Fett. 
Actually, Mandalorian. <laughs> Din Djar. <laughs> or Jin- yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, Pedro Pascal, just speaking of, of that, because I know we talked about The Last of Us and shit, fucking phenomenal <clears throat> actor. Dude, I love that man as an actor. Yeah. Have you seen, when he, like, just when he's not, like, being an actor? He's just so he's fucking He's silly, goofy funny. dude. Yeah. Like, I, I, don't, watched... I don't understand his range, dude, but oh, go ahead. He was the only good part of the Wonder Woman 1984. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was the only good part of that movie. I and him as like a like a villain character, I think is good. I mean, you know, you know who I didn't know was that good, and I I loved him being an actor, and I wish he did more. Is that comedian in uh, um, The Mandalorian? Do you know what I'm talking about? Ginger beard, bald. Was like oh, Bill the, Burr. Bill Burr. yeah, Bill yeah, Burr. Bill Burr. Yeah. I didn't I didn't think he was gonna be that good of an a- a- actor when I heard Oh no, he he's good. He was in Breaking Bad. He was a yeah. Yeah. Breaking Bad. Yeah, he's a really good actor. And I, I didn't watch Breaking Bad. I'm gonna be honest. I not I don't care to either, unfortunately. But yeah, he's um, a really talented actor, comedian. He's really I good. like that. I, I I like him a lot. For being an actor that I love to watch or I'm sorry, comedian. I'm also surprised when they're actors. Like I feel like Kevin Hart uh, is pretty hit or miss. Kevin, I cannot Maybe. stand Kevin Hart movie. Ah, uh, that's not true. I used to enjoy, really enjoy Kevin Hart stand up, but then it just became the same fucking thing over and over again. Oh yeah, <laughs> like the yeah. same delivery, the same fucking voice tone of everything. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> okay. I mean, I love old. Like his first stand up special. When mm. I first watched it, that was fucking hilarious. Mm. But I don't know. No, I mean, God, I can't. I can't really even think of all other comedians that have done really well acting, though. I feel like... Um... Uh... Jim Carrey. Yeah, uh, I always thought Jim Carrey... I never really... Maybe it's just because of my age. But like, yeah. I never really saw him as a comedian. I saw him as, as like a stand-up comedian. Like Bill Burr. Yeah. You know what I mean? He always was just funny in movies, but he was never really like funny outside of the movie. I mean, Robin Williams... Is also one. Fuck oh, I yeah! Love Rob. I Rob Williams stand up. Yeah. If you've his... ever listened to it, it's fucking hilarious. Oh, his Lord. story is so fucking sad, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fucking Mrs. <laughs> Doubtfire. I remember, um, like two weeks ago, um, my grandmother. I went over to her house and I was talking to her because she was watching like my younger, younger cousins' babies, and she put on Miss Doubtfire for them, and I was like, I have not seen this fucking movie. In ever, and I ended up watching <laughs> the entire fuck. goddamn thing. It's so mm. funny. Dude, I, mean, I had a, I had a fucked up. Uh, go ahead, sorry, I didn't want. No, to no, no. You, you, please. Um, I had a a scare this morning uh, related to my grandmother. Um, <laughs> I was asleep. I I stay up really late, so mm. I go to work in like the afternoon. So I sleep pretty late too. I sleep until like noon, and I get up and get ready and all that. Right. Uh, but I was asleep. Uh, and I hear people talking about my grandma. I was like, oh, okay. I went back to sleep. I woke up, and my mom asked me, hey, do you know so grandma's their, their family friend? Um, well, my family friend, too. Um, do you know his last name? I was like, no. And they're like, okay. And then I was like, okay. I went back to sleep. My <laughs> sister woke me up. She's like, yo, grandma's kidneys are failing. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> and I was awake. I was laying there. Like, just fuck. dropping that bomb on you. I was like, fuck. And then 10 minutes later, she's like, oh, grandma's fine. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Fuck you. That was my family like... does the same shit. Yeah, I feel like everyone says, because I, I literally, um, my sister just got done doing one of her plays. And, um, you know, my grandparents came out to go watch her, um, you know, perform the show. And then as soon as they were going back home, I just get a text from my mom, who's just upstairs in the same house I'm in. Goes, oh yeah, grandma, and grandpa, you know, just ha- hit a cow, and I was like, are they okay? And he's like, yeah, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> you I think... steak for dinner, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like fuck. I think it's so fun. funny to think about the fact that like your parents know them for longer than you ever could. I guess maybe more, more, more or less. So like when they get mm-hmm. messages like that, that you would think are like, oh my god, they're like, no, fucking whatever. You know, just like if I, you know, when I have a kid and then they're like, oh my God, how's, you know, grandma or my mother? I'm like, she's a shitter. Like my mother acts like she's fucking 16 years old and talks like shit. And I'm like, she like calls me names and shit. I think it's fucking hilarious. But like my grandkids or her grandkids will never really understand that, I guess, as as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just funny to like see that aspect of it. But 
No, I mean, I guess I feel like every family is like that. Because, dude, I had to fucking drive drunk people home tonight. Fucking because it was Super <laughs> yeah. Bowl, dude. It was horrible. Yeah, you best be like, sorry, I'm going to be late. I'm on Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, I oh fucking God. was not ready for it, dude. Because I'm sitting here playing fucking Harry Potter. And then all of a sudden, I get a fucking call, man. Yeah, the game's not bad. I mean, like, if you want the fucking Dante rating, I'm giving it an 8. 8 out of 10. Eight out there of you go. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I give a fuck about the story. That's about the only thing that's not keeping it to a high rating is I don't really know what's going on. I've been playing since I was able to last week. And <laughs> is I, it really I'm like, like that? Is it just confusing? Well, like, I, no, it's not com- confusing. It it's just like what's happening is so like, like, it's hard to tell because I guess it's so new that like this is like the spoiler territory, but you know for people who aren't listening, I don't want to ruin it because the game I think actually actually like quote unquote came out um, recently. I don't know when it officially came out, um, but recently, recently as fuck. Whatever. My point is though is that um, from the reviews. The only thing that I can say that I absolutely agree with when I'm reading them is the game is amazing. You, the spells, the atmosphere, all hit the nail on the head. But mm. you do not, for a minute, feel like you're supposed to be a part of Hogwarts. You just feel like you're in Hogwarts doing things. Right? Yeah. Does that make that would, sense? Yeah, that would be like, we were talking about The Witcher earlier. That would be like if you're playing a Witcher game and you don't, you just feel like you're kind of there. You're not yeah. You're just like, kind of there. Yeah, like people just talk to you because they're like, hey, you're the new kid. You know, can you yeah. do this for me? And it's like some random side quest. And I guess you're it like, kind of okay. feels like, because what a little about the story I know. And you're like a transfer or something because you're, you're starting off as a fifth year. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're like a transfer from other school or something. They don't They don't really touch on that in the beginning of the game. Yeah. And I'm still like halfway through it, I think. So, yeah. but yeah, you're a fifth year. Like that's general knowledge. You're in Hogwarts obviously but yeah, the game came out two days ago but like, technically yeah yeah there was, like, there was early access for pre-orders a week a week earlier right yeah. but um you know you're a fifth year you transfer you get to pick your own school which by the way slither like a motherfucker like if you look at the charts <laughs> from what they reported more people are playing Sly- slither than anyone else by like a heavy margin anyway that is um, that is one thing i like about the game from what i've seen like they, they you would expect slither to be all snidely whiplash twirling around the mustache but now they're just kind of there because that's the what i mean in the books they're just portrayed as like these douchebags but at the same time you know i was doing some reading because i don't really care about harry potter like at all um, there's a lot more fantasy adult stuff that I'm really interested in that are just, you know, better, but whatever. Um, in the game, they do not a very good job of making you feel like you're in Slytherin. They just give you the clothes and they let you go into the area, but you don't, I personally, I do not for a second feel like I'm connected to Slytherin. Like if there was an ability to just switch like schools i would do that all the time you know what i mean yeah. like because yeah. because i don't feel like oh my god i'm in slytherin i'm part of slytherin and everyone in slytherin is like my friend you know what i mean because like they're just people who are going to give you tasks just like a griffin door that you bump into they're all going to give you tasks they're all going to give you pro- problems because that's what they're scripted to do so like i 100 percent can say that you kind of just feel like you're there which Honestly, though, because of the story, not like, and that's where I don't want to ruin anything, it makes perfect sense. Because your motives are not you're going to Hogwarts and you get into this event. You know what I mean? You are chasing this thing or like event, you know, string of events that is included in you being in Hogwarts. Does that make sense? So, like, you know how Harry Potter, um, his story is directly tied to him growing up in Hogwarts, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, as he grows up, Hogwarts changes and all this stuff. Your character is in Hogwarts because he has to be, but as soon as it's done where Hogwarts is, he can 100% just not care about Hogwarts anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Because, like, it's just a tool to help him reach that goal he's trying to do. So, like, I get why you feel disconnected because I feel like if you're just kind of there... You know, like, if you're working and somebody from another department or something just comes in to do their own shit in your 
like workplace for a day and you kind of just leave them alone and they kind of just small talk with you and then they leave the next day and like it was nothing that's exactly what your character is like like i don't know I mean, the game's really cool, though. I think that the Fantastic Beasts, like, they have this thing called the Room of Requirement, which isn't a spoiler, uh, because you should already know what the Room of Requirement is. You know what Harry Potter is. But you basically just have a customizable room where you can do potions and herbology, and you can customize it, like, to the exact way you like. You know what I mean? You can have, like, walls with, like, plants and stuff hang- hanging uh-huh. around. And so, like, you can have Fantastic Beast stuff, too, where you collect, like, these, like, monsters and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, like very good game it's just like you know you could tell me to do x y and z and i just know that i get a sick cloak out of it so i'm about to fucking do that whatever it is you know (laughs) so that's the only caveat to it i hope that um they do something similar to jedi survivor you know where they kind of take your character that you've made and let you make like an older version if they make a second one of these because um i'm really looking forward to survivor like all the games coming out, Survivor coming out in April, I think that I am s- more excited about that than anything else. Um, Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I love I, Fallen Order. I didn't finish Fallen Order because it was on Game Pass. and I, right. yeah. I have I have it on Steam, though. I might want to replay that. Dude, I'm telling I you. Bought it on, I bought it on a sale. It's oh, really yeah. good. I um And I know this one, They I don't know exactly the extent of it, but you have a gun now. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that too, and I was like, what? There's there's nothing about it right now. I think if you look, that is 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 giving you an indication of how much you use that gun. Um, but gun. I know for a fact that if you pre-order the game, you get a gun skin. So it's like something you're probably gonna have in the game, right? Are they like gonna throw like a random multiplayer in it or something? I don't no, bro, think bro. so. But I know they have like an and or like character that you kind of want rock around yeah. with. Um, maybe it is just Andor. It's just no. <gasps> I mean, it could be actually, yeah. Well, dude, your character is five four. years in the future from the very date of the purge. You know what? Yeah. Actually, you know what's on my mind? What's on your mind? Hmm. Okay. What happened to the one girl in Fallen Order? What happened? To what the... one girl? Al's sister. little girlfriend. He like falls in love with her. Oh, from the Dathomir? sister. Yeah, we never see her. Yeah, you do. Well, just because she's not in the trailer doesn't mean she's not in the game. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, like... but you do see that hmm. uh, bald woman who used yeah, to not be bald. Yeah, she went bald. She's like, eh, screw the short haircut. Um, oh, Maybe she dies, bro. That woman's in a lot of video games. <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, um, right? I, yeah. She's a, I think she's Amanda game, Waller I in the new Suicide Squad them. game. Yeah, no yeah, shit. exactly. That's fucking crazy. She's making money. Yeah, she's in a lot of movies. She's, she's not bad either. Fucking... Not no, bad no, Actors. not at all. Whatever. Yeah, you know we're gender neutral here in the ninety first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, dude. But I mean, like, I I think Survivor is pretty cool. I think that um, it'll be cool as fuck. Honestly, honestly, I'm hoping to God that you meet one of the big people just for a second, because I feel I mean, like you met, you met Vader at the end. You fucking run Yo, your face, dude. <laughs> He Dude, doesn't Vader just run your like fade. The, he yeah. fucks up the entire area just to kill you. And he doesn't even kill you. Which is crazy, too, that you get away. So, like, holy shit. Um, but, we get away I mean... The skin of your teeth. <laughs> you still get away, though. Hey, Vader didn't kill you, and that's a W. Because he definitely wasn't not trying. He was gunning for your ass. Yeah. He was bending stairs and shit, collapsing walls. <laughs> Um, I watched my brother play that. I, I watched him. He uh, he's into like those Souls like games. Yeah, like all of them. Um, and he was playing that. <laughs> he got to the Vader part. He's like, "Can I just not?" <laughs> <He's> like, oh. <laughs> well, dude, like I really, I really like that. Even the uh, the sister, not the sister. Is it a sister? The fucking Inquisitor. Uh, you know how they yes. they get killed at the end. She's like eighth sister. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, like you kill one of the sisters. And, you kill the forearmed one, like yeah, yeah, and then you fight the whatever, and um, but then she ends up like refusing to kill you. I can't even remember that part, but I know that she stops fighting you for some reason, and then Vader kills her, and, yeah. I was, and that and that's when I was like, oh shit, um, oh shit, yeah, 
Well, like, dude, I think that that game just lends to so many cool things about Star Wars that, like, I feel like a lot of games don't really touch on. And even though it is kind of soulsy, um, for some people, I feel like it, it is kind of developing into its own little, like, subgenre because mm-hmm. it's just, it's cool, man. It, the, being able to use two lightsabers, double sided lightsabers, you know what I mean? Like, you have, like, four different moves you could do. And, like, it is re- reminiscent of, like, something that you would see more like a God of War, too. Because I feel like it has the combat, the movement, you know what I mean, where you kind of go through, like, sections of fighting and then moving yeah, it, and then fighting. It is kind of like God of War, the uh, Dark Souls hybrid. Yeah, because it also does it has, like, the big, bonfire type things. Like those meditation points. Yeah. 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 But, I but mean, that's does... just, like, checkpoints. I mean, just like any other, yeah. you hit a mm-hmm. flag and you're like, there you go. But... God, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, Mav, do you have any wise words for any young CRs that are listening to this? Because I know we got a fuck ton from Battlefront just recently, so I appreciate you guys. Even though uh, you don't have star cards in this game. You don't have star cards, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we uh, should do that. That'll be our next thing, though. Yeah, star uh, cards. Don't yeah, yeah. really have any. Don't do drugs, kids. Hey, don't, 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 don't do drugs, Loki. Don't do meth or heroin, but weed word. is pretty cool. Fair enough. Yeah. Thanks, man. We gotta get that on a shirt. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, Forrest Gump, calm down. Fucking lo- lo- Loki, you got any beautiful last words? Do Before good. Do crime. <laughs> Don't get caught. Wise words you'll ever hear. Yeah. Crime in the 91st. Alright, I uh, I appreciate all the listeners. I know this is a late night one, so we're all, I'm fucking tired and hungry. I don't know about you guys, but... I appreciate everybody for listening. Thank you all. Have a good night.